Hi, in this tutorial uh, we will continue our uh, our previous video for talking about the constraints. Uh, we already talked about the primary key, unique key and foreign key. Now I will uh, complete talking about the, the identity check default constraints. Those constraints that uh, each one has a, a, win, uh, a win job like for the identity constraints, it's uh, it's uh, can be used for generating uh, uh, key values. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how this gonna uh, work. Uh, and for the check constraints, it's used to limit the value range that can be placed in a column. Um, and for the default constraints, it's used to provide a default value for a column. And these constraints even the uh, same like uh, as the previous constraints even you uh, you can create them while you are creating your uh, a table during uh, this process or uh, you can alter your table and uh, or you can use the design option to add any of these uh, uh, constraints uh, I'm gonna show for the for the identity i'm gonna you know at the beginning if i want to create a table with identity column uh let's say it's create table order let's see it's uh, the salary imp and i'm gonna start with salary id uh, with int with i then identity one of one. So this is how I create my uh, my table and with the uh, salary ID uh, it's int the this is my data type and with identity constraints um, i want you to start from one and i want you to generate or start uh, my values increasing by one and here imp name which i mean employee name for car to 55 and this says here the ssn of the amp this is we can say it as of our car as well with the dashes so here where I created my table and here is the salary the amp and this is my salary ID if I want to let's say is insert into salary id and the values for the imp name let's say here melvin <clears throat> and for the social security say one two three and let's see how this works says one row and Select everything from my salary imp table. See, it's generated here uh, a one. If I inserted another row, it will increasing by one, so two. For example, if I want to add the identity, if I want to add it like, let's say, to this table, I created this table, it's empty. And if I already created and now I, I realize that, hey, I forgot to add my identity while I create my table. So how I can do that, you can say either, either you can create it, I'm gonna show you from uh, using a script or go right here, design this is my column and go right here to identity and 
select yes and one and one it means start from one and increase by one and saved now i have the identity right here if i insert into my order items the order name it's tv the price let's 255 and i want to select everything from my table this is uh the identity that i just created uh if i want to go to check constraints let's say is i want uh uh i'm gonna add the, the check constraints to my order price and i'm gonna uh, restrict the uh, or to limit the value of that uh, column which i will say hey i don't want any number more uh, not more than a uh, thousand so i'll go right here design the price right click check constraint add if i am fast you can just you know play your video the video and you can follow up so here i'm gonna say okay the order price less than i want to to make like 750. If, I, if anything like with 750 and more i i don't want you to add any uh, more than 750. uh anything else uh, i'm okay with it so Press OK, close, save it. Now I have check constraint here. If I want to insert into the table with laptop with 750 or even, even 50 or more than it's not allow me the insert statement conflict with the check constraints called ck underscore order underscore items but if i said okay i want you 745 here we go it works and it's an increase by one the first one that i uh tried to insert it and it doesn't work the third one it's uh my laptop all right two rows affected the first one that it doesn't work the second one that it works okay let's see that if i want to add the default constraints so here i'm gonna say okay alter table i'm gonna add the date add column um date order date order date no now if I refresh here my order date uh, where is my order date it's supposed to be here let me refresh my box mark order item design i don't know why it's not showing order date come here go to date time and here i'm gonna say the default item get a date This is what everything that you're gonna 
um, inserted to this column to this to these columns in this uh, table this one will be generated by the get date which is the current date this is the code of the current date it's called get date so I'm gonna insert I'm gonna say here phone with 650 without inserting anything to order date because it's identity order ID sorry and for the order date it's because uh, it has the default uh, the constraints here because it's he's now reading the other column so he wants me to uh, put a values to the order date which is I don't want I'm gonna say only to the order name and to the order price that's it now I have one row it's inserted see this is the date that is generated uh, I just inserted uh, my uh, my row for the order name called phone the order price 650 and this is generated automatically and this is my default value and this is the identity that it's created by default so this is how you can uh, manipulate with your uh, tables and uh, use this uh, as your advantage for uh, your project thank you for watching